Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, to those that are returning to my channel, thank you. Um, those that are new here, my name is Ashley. I am 38 years old and this is my journal of my transition um, as uh, from male to female. Um, the last couple episodes that I've uh, posted, I have gone back and watched and kind of feel like um, they were a bit darker and, and whatnot. So I could definitely tell that my mental health had sunk a little bit, but um, I am working on that. I, I do feel really good um, and, and whatnot, uh, but I'm just putting a conscientious effort into um, paying attention more to myself. Um, the, the mental um, health side, that is. Um, so, today is uh, my 10-week anniversary of being on HRT. HRT, for those that don't know, is my hormone replacement therapy. Um, taking a testosterone blocker and estrogen. Um, things are going well. Um, I get complimented on my skin lately, um, so that's kind of, uh, different. Um, I don't think I've ever really had bad skin per se. Um, like I never had a, a big problem, uh, with acne or, or pimples or zits or whatnot. Um, so I guess I was lucky in that format. Um, but even a couple of my doctors have said that my skin looks really healthy um, and it's, it's good. Um, my uh, body, I have experienced some changes already. Um, I don't want to go too far into that um, and whatnot. I will say um, that between the testosterone blockers and the, the estrogen, um, I have noticed a difference in this area um, significantly. Um, what I found, or let's back up. Previously, before HRT, if I pressed um, on my nips, it almost felt like it was just like skin with like a, a blank spot behind it, I guess, would be a good way to explain it. Um, but with the HRT, I can definitely feel, um, tissue, um, growing in that area. Um, there is definitely more tissue, um, in general, um, very tender. Um, so I have to be careful. Um, something that I have a great appreciation or no, that's the wrong wording. Um, something that, um, I guess I feel fortunate to be able to experience as my authentic self. Um, yeah, couple, I guess, uh, a family update. Um, I still, I'm in touch with, with both of my parents. Um, and in that aspect, I feel like things are good. Um, I don't, uh, talk to either one of them as, as much as I probably need to or or that they would like um, and I guess that's just life sometimes um, getting a little bit busy and I guess just being exhausted with work you know being outside all day in the Sun and, and, and whatnot um, yeah um, wanted to show you my water bottle because why not? Something different. Um, got a sticker that says trans women are women. I've got a, a trans flag in the background. This is another company called Unclockable. Um, and then this is, what's this one say? It says, I breathe underwater. What's your superpower? Um, this was a gift from some of the divers that went on my uh, Bonaire trip. 
um, this last fall. Uh, Your Dive Concierge is a, a, a friend of mine's company. Um, Iguana Bait, it's uh, from Florida Keys Brewing Company. Uh, one of my students recently got me that sticker. Um, part of this sticker right here is, it's missing right here. It's uh, Mermaid Divers, it's the AJ Bailey series by my friend Nicholas Harvey. Um, good author, great diver, amazing person. Um, and there was a, a, a shark sticker here, and then uh, Divers Ready um, is another YouTube channel here um, run by uh, somebody that I know as well that gives out uh, loads and loads of really good scuba content. Um, I Heart Carol's. Carol's was a, a bar in Bonaire that we stopped at to um, get a drink while we were there. I've got a, a O2 Clean sticker, uh, more as a joke, more than anything. And then I don't even really remember the deal with this. I, I, I just remember putting the sticker on there. I don't remember the deal. Anyway, yeah, that, that's, uh, my water bottle, it literally goes everywhere. Um, so some things coming up for me. Um, I will be going uh, to have a conversation this coming weekend um, with both of my parents at the same time. Um, while that seems rather routine for a lot of people, um, for me, it's uh, a unique experience. I'm 38 years old. Um, my parents have been divorced since I was, I want to say a year old, or at least that's what I remember being told. Um, so I've not had a lot of opportunities like a lot of people that have had both parents together. Um, and then both of my parents have lived on literally opposite sides of the country my whole life. Um, and so it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if I've ever trapped them in the same room to have a conversation together. And I just, maybe I have, but I just don't recall it. Um, and I think it would be a really unique uh, opportunity. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I'm gonna be discussing um, changing my name with both of them. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, I spoke with my dad on the phone. Um, hi, dad. I, I know you're gonna hear this and everything. And just a, a nice shout out to you. I hope you're doing well. Um, and same to you, Mom. I hope if uh, you're watching this that you're doing well. Um, one thing that this conversation with my dad um, yesterday, uh, he told me that he actually watches and or listens to um, my, my updates that I post here. And um, sorry, I, I just watched my landlord uh, walking past my window to put mail in my mailbox. So forgive me for the, the distraction there. Um, so my, my, my mom and my dad um, have both told me, you know, that they watch and listen. But uh, my dad said uh, just recently on our phone call yesterday that it um, was really nice for him because he was able to hear my voice and, and kind of follow along and be part of it. And, you know, in all honesty, when I initially um, talked to my family, naturally there was a level of trepidation. I was, I was very, very nervous. And um, while everybody said they were supportive, I wasn't quite sure if that was just the, um, the parental, uh, attempt to protect me um, coming from both of them saying that yeah they do and and, and whatnot but at the the end of the day um, it's been 
I think I officially, like publicly, everything came out in, in August of last year. So today's date, um, if we're watching this in the future, is Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. So August, nine months now, wow. Um, nine months that I've been out and to hear those words and, and whatnot, it, it definitely brings light to my heart and, and makes me feel um, that even though my support network is so spread out, it makes it feel that much closer and more accessible. Um, and it makes me very, very grateful. Um, I have some of the most amazing friends in the world. Um, and I know I talked a little bit about it, maybe the last video or the video before. Um, but, you know, you, you can't brag about your friends enough um, when they're as amazing as they are. Um, my best friend, Kenneth, um, man, he's, he's a, a stellar friend. Um, I couldn't have ever asked to have met such a good friend, such a good human being, his entire family. Um, well, he and I are uh, definitely, definitely family. Um, he was in open water with me, same as his sister. Um, we've done many, many trips together. I've been lucky enough to do trips with his family as well. Um, I feel very, very fortunate. Um, my best friend, John, back in central Tennessee, um, we have the same birthday. Uh, worked at a job together. We were on the track team together. Um, went to the Marine Corps together. Um, I actually talked him into that, so I hope he forgives me. Uh, and that's a joke. That's a joke. Um, I wish I could have had more time with the Marines, to be honest with you. Um, but hey, things happen for a reason. And um, there's a silver lining. If things hadn't gone the way they had, um, then I wouldn't have my children. Um, while I don't see them much. Um, that's another story. Anyway. Um, John's very supportive. I, I, I really appreciate him. He's one of those people that, you know, I might not talk to for many months at a time and then out of nowhere, we'll just have this conversation and joke and laugh as if nothing happened and bring up the stupid stories from high school together. And, um, let's throw one out there in case you're listening, John. Hey, uh, you remember, uh, breaking the, the mirror off of the Lincoln Navigator's, uh, windshield. That was a fun night. That was a very interesting night and uh, I'm, I'm glad we didn't end up. I want to say it would have been in the McGill's front yard, I think. Anyway, that was fun times. My best friend Rosa, um, huge, huge support from her. Um, amazing person. Um, I, I, don't even know where to start because there's so much good with her. Um, my scuba mama, my scuba mama, Monica. Monica is an amazing person. Um, huge help when I moved down here to the, the Florida Keys. Um, and a huge help still to this day. Um, just being able to uh, go and visit with her and say hi and... Um, she gives some of the best damn hugs in the world, to be honest with you. Um, goodness, I've met so many great people through diving as well. Um, my team North Carolina people, um, they know who they are. Um, great, great people. Uh, my team Florida people, they, they are amazing people. So many people um, that sometimes it's it's difficult to really give credit where credit's due. 
And I talk about this because we all need to recognize our support systems and, and take advantage of them. Um, I'm, I'm very, very guilty at times when I go down those dark rabbit holes to just be adamant and put my foot down and be like, I'm alone. But then I remember, or try to remember, um, that I have so many great people that, you know, we don't talk all the time, but I know if I need them, they'll be there. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, positive note of the day, or positive thought of the day. Um, at the end of the day, no one else's opinion matters. At the end of the day, if you can look yourself in the mirror and you can smile and be happy with who you see, or if you can look in the mirror and see that the person that you see has changed at least, even in the slightest, towards the positive compared to the person you were yesterday. That's what matters. What matters is not comparing yourself to everyone else that you see, whether it be on TV or social media or um, through your jobs. Don't compare yourself to them because their story is different than yours. And your story, your story is unique, uniquely you. Um, so always strive to be you and strive to be a better you than you were yesterday. Guys, um, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Again, um, if you have questions, please submit them in the comments. Um, I would love to see some comments. Uh, I love seeing the few, uh, the few that I get from time to time and, and being able to interact with people. Um, I don't know if this helps anyone other than me, um, but maybe eventually it will. Um, if, like I said, if you like the video, cool, hit that like button. If, if you want to, um, keep up to date with what's going on, I post fairly regularly on Wednesdays. Um, I had a, a two week period, maybe, maybe a three week period where I, I, I kind of missed out. Um, and it's cause I guess I had a bit of a mental load going on. Um, but yeah. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe, uh, check out the other videos, ask questions, let's interact. Um, other than that, um, I guess I will catch you guys next Wednesday and uh, let's go dive.